Many audio issues later that have hopefully been resolved. Hey everyone, Dashbit here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Origami King. Last time, we set sail to the Great Sea after a uh, unintended break. And this time, we are back, and we are going to be exploring more of the Great Sea. We found two islands last time in particular that were of interest, and a few bits of treasure. But we are actually back in Toad Town on a quick flying trip through it. We're not actually doing anything in Toad Town per se. But we got a giant clam last episode, and I want to go ahead and get that out of the way. Just a quick disclaimer, this section of the game isn't going to have its usual post-boss stuff like the other chapters due to just something we'll see later. So there are going to be a few times in this segment of the game where I'm going to just straight up be doing other things that aren't related to the main story. I usually like to save that stuff until after I've beaten an area's boss, but this kind There's no... Like, I could technically still do that, but it, it would be really out of my way to do it this time. So I'm just doing them in b here and there now. One of, one of those things that has finally become available to us now that we have the giant clamshell from the bottom of the sea is this area. Uh, let's see, how does this work? I guess I'm, gonna, guess I'm a bit nervous since this is my first time camping. I'm still not entirely sure how to get this fire started. Any ideas? Uh, how do I get this started? I'm pretty sure we can do this now. Uh, oh! Oh, I'm an idiot. There's a elemental power over here. Okay, that works. We've seen this a lot. I'm just gonna skip this one in particular, guys. Yes, finally! I'm on fire. Burn, baby, burn! That reminds me of those ghost things from Hat in Time. Ever played that game? It's, it's, it's a fun game. Uh, but yeah, we now have a fire weapon going here. Now we just need something to put on it. Hmm. Should we try cooking something here? Let's try the big shell. Yo! That was too close for clam. I meant too clam for comfort. I mean, I've been in that clam for way too long. Oh, too, Mario. Did you save me? That's so cool of you. I'm actually the caretaker here. I left to search the Gracie for exciting, innovative barbecue in ingredients. It was a great adventure, but I miss cooking up baby back ribs. So it's good to be back, baby. And with that, we finally got all the toads, but we are still technically missing a collectible treasure. I don't know why campfires are so appealing to me. Maybe because they're kind of dangerous and wild? I tried to get that same throw from cliff diving, but I just, like, wafted down, you know? Uh, yeah, I guess that's technically could be an approach. But yeah, now that we've rescued that toad, this house is finally open. My resident toad is back, but there seems to be a change in the resident dress code. Ah, uh, nice pose. First off, treasure chest. We got good old Grand Sappy. You remember that big tree in the forest? Kinda sounds like it's singing when the wind blows, right? Biggest tree we ever logged, and all totally worth it. Now we've got all the scrap and firewood we need. Okay, first off, we know who cut Grand Sappy now, but second, we have finally 100%ed the Whispering Woods. Kind of weird that it took this long to do it, but hey, the first year in the game is finally finished, other than Toad Town, but uh, but we'll get there. We're actually not too far off now. There's only so many other collectible treasures to, well, 50% 50 more, 50 more collectible treasures to get there. And I do know pretty much where they all are at this point. You have anything else to say? I bet that tree in the woods has grown pretty tall again. Might be time to commit to a deck extension. Ooh, I could add a rotisserie nook. No. Bad toad. Bad! With that being said, uh... We are finally done here. See you later. 
We are finally done in Whispering Woods, and that that's all I wanted to do. We're going back to the Great Sea now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna snap cut and see y'all there. See you in a minute! Here we are back on the Great Sea! What the heck were we doing last time? Uh sea chart. We have a treasure to the right, but we also could follow the purple streamer. I, I think we're gonna go for that treasure first though, just because that's that's really out of the way, and I don't I can't think of why we would need to go over th in that direction again, other than just other treasures, which who knows when we'll get those, so <laughs> let's let's go over there first. Uh it's pretty f No, not I keep pressing minus instead of L. I don't know why. What, what game presses L to or minus to open the Birth of the Wild? I've been playing Birth of the Wild lately. That's why. Okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, uh, that's why I'm pressing minus to open up the map. Makes sense. Uh, we just about. To... Oh, shoot, we passed it. Uh, whoops. Uh, we're right on top of it. Down we go. Let's see. If we take a look around here, nothing to the right. What about to the left? Oh, there's uh, a big rock. With some money, but there's also a treasure chest, like, right over here. Dang it, I'm just barely off screen. Let's grab it, not grab it, grab it, and yank it up. Up we go. <laughs> What's in the chest? DJ booth. This area is just full of oddball collectibles, but it, they're kind of relevant to stuff we've seen, I guess. Just, you know, not in the Great Sea. Okay, enough beating around in the bush. Let's go check out where the purple streamer leads, as we've gone to a lot of islands, but completely, you, you, you know, supposed to be following. So let, let's actually follow the streamer. It goes way to, like, the north of the map, like... We're at the edge of the map, so let's kind of head to the left. That's where it turned. Yeah, here it is again. Whoa! <laughs> this one is unmistakably spade-shaped. We'll call it Spade Island. Okay, I guess we'll check this out while we're here. Uh, let's check out Spade Island. Uh, I think I already see one issue. Ooh, nice music, though. Uh, hi, and goodbye. Oh, there's a toad there, but let me talk to this one first. I'm curious. Hey, I'm in a real pickle here. My friends should be able to help if you can find them on the island. Well, I definitely know where one is. Whoa, this looks bad. Hang on, friend, I'm coming! There's a hitting block apparently somewhere around here, but I, th I, get, I bet I know where it is. No? Okay. Oh wait, no, it's that's kind of obvious. Okay. That's wow. This took a lot of confetti. Uh, let's get up here. Actually, I think there might be two. This is one. Okay, that had toad, which is not what I was expecting. Whoa, this looks bad. Hang on, friend, I'm coming. Yeah, this is suspicious. Yep, that was another one. That was, I, there was a kind of suspicious spot there. I don't want to fight the cheap cheap. Oh, and apparently there was a purple toad in there. Whoa, this looks bad. Hang on, friend, I'm coming. Okay, they all have the same line. There should be one more. The one place we haven't checked is the palm trees. Uh, I see the toad, but I want the money from these first. Okay, got money. Oh, this way! I'm coming! Yeah, they all have the same line. <laughs> kind of disappointing. 
Let's push him in. I guess we're just pushing them in. It's probably getting kind of crowded in there. And he's naked. Well, mostly naked. Thanks for saving all of us, especially me. I don't have a reward for you, but I can show you a real cool spot to fish for treasure out there. Hmm, that's not too far. I guess we'll go check that out before following the purple streamer. What? My vest is gone! No! The world can see my shame! Bro, he gets some good friends. We won't let our friend be humiliated! Dignity huddle activated! Phew. I suppose the one g g Let me retry that. I suppose the one thing any toad needs is really good friends. And a backup vest. For emergencies. Uh, let's check the statue while we're here. More weird marks. I still don't know what this is about, but I might as well update my copy to match. Let's check that. That's not how I check. Shoot, how do I talk to Olivia? There we go. Let's take a look. So now it's been updated. It looks like there's a... Every circle has been filled with something. That's probably a puzzle of some sort. One we will get to in due time. But, uh... Are we done here? I think we're done. Yeah, we're done on Spade Island. Okay, let's leave. Uh, so... We've been finding a lot of islands. But there are definitely some more still to find. I just want to kind of... Follow the purple streamer here for a little while. That being said, I do want that money. I want that money. Turn. Wow, that was a weird way to turn. Give me the money. I see it. I want it. We can just kind of keep up if we tap it. Give me all the money. Come on, give me more before you disappear. Uh, and he disappeared. Uh, okay. Well, at least we're already facing the general direction we need to go. Whoa, big well. Oh. <laughs> Moments before disaster. Ow! <laughs> right into the rock. Uh, if I had to guess since there's rocks here, there's probably a reef? Or maybe it's just right here. Okay, it's just right here. Never mind. That what? I found it. Hey, hey, give it. Give it. Give me the chest. There we go. What's in this one? Oh, pfft. that's fitting. Spade Barrel Island. Okay, that's that's like the most fitting trophy we've got yet. Uh, what we're we doing? Oh yeah, following the purple streamer. Let's uh, let's get back to that. It's kind of dipping down south again. It looks like. Oh boy, through the rocks. There's the streamer, and it takes a straight beeline north again. Whoa. I think we found where the streamer is coming from. What do you have to say? I've heard there are 11 islands out there on the ocean. I just don't know where they are. 11, huh? Well, we found one, two, three, four, five, six islands that we've explored pretty much fully. And then there's the one in the bottom left that we at least know exists and I am going to explore, but well, th later. Later. Whoa, shoot. I wasn't expecting to come across shy guys on the open ocean. I also don't think I've ever fought these guys in my original playthrough. I don't recall coming across sh flying shy guys. Can I jump on them? That's not helpful, Olivia. I'm assuming I have to jump on them. Although, hold on. 
Oh wait, I'm giving three moves, so that's that's pretty easy. Okay, let's. I'm just gonna use the shiny boots on them just in case the propeller hurts. I don't think it does, but I don't know for sure. And I need to do more damage anyway, so it doesn't hurt. Besides, I think I think I have a few of these. If not, I can buy some. We're not exactly short on money, and the one thing that's pretty inexpensive in this game so far is the weapons. Eh, wow, that was a very measly amount of money. Shy guys are only around here, though. That's interesting. What the? This tower's mad- Oh, wait, who is- who's talking? I'm gonna assume this Olivia. What the? Th this tower is massive! What kind of island is this? A tower standing in the Great Sea. That's the Sea Tower, obviously. The purple streamer wraps all the way to the top. This one might be a bit trickier. Get away from the shy guys, get away from the shy guys. Okay, new island. Whoa, fancy island. Also, there's the purple pipe. Interesting. This area didn't really need a pipe. <laughs> that is a tall tower. Wow, it's so tall! My neck hurts just looking at it. You can, you're, you're levitating. Just lay on your back in midair. It's like it's piercing the sky. It stretches up and up and up. And so does the purple streamer. I can't wait to climb our way up this thing. Think about the floors we'll get to explore. That's probably less exciting when you can't float, but it'll still be fun. Huh. Now, how do we climb it? Uh, first things first, let's open up that shortcut, although I don't particularly know how much we're going to use that one. I'm sure I'll find a use for it later, but uh, who knows. Ignore the clock dinging in the background. I thought that thing was turned off. Hmm, what do you think these three openings are for? Key. That seems like the wrong shape and the wrong size. Okay, yeah, we whatever this is, we don't have what we need yet, so we can't really do anything in this island. But we finally know where the purple streamer is leading. Hmm. Now it's just a matter of what we do for the rest of the episode. We probably have time to explore one more island, I would say. So let's let's look around. We don't really have any specifics on where any more islands are located. Oh, pfft. Right, if you get to the edge of the Great Sea, uh, a giant blooper comes up with an X sign. Interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda uh, click the map. Good advice for looking for new islands on the Great Sea is steer clear of islands you've already explored. They're usually not that close together. I swear I remember there being Something around this general area of the map. Uh, there's a bunch of rocks. That's what there is down here. Oh, what? Well, there's what I was looking for. A question mark, I see. Then I shall name this en enigmatic island Question Mark Island. This one definitely works better on paper. Uh, let's check that out in just a moment. I spotted a reef up here, and there is no way there's not a buried treasure or sunken treasure here. I mean, I guess buried treasure, just buried in water. I guess, I guess the term still kind of works. Okay, where is it? <laughs> there's definitely one down here. Not to the right. Let's look to the left. Oh, to the left, actually. Okay, maybe it is to the right. Or is it another one that's, like, floating in the water? Wait a minute. Oh, it's right down there. Wow, that one... That one was not very hitting, but also surprisingly well hitting. Kind of weird. 
Either that or I'm really unobservant. <laughs> probably a mixture of both. Or probably just the latter. Money! I will always accept money. Also, rip headphone users every time I scream money. Sorry. I don't mean to blow your eardrums out. It's just, it's just what I do. Let's check out Question Mark Island before we end things off. Uh... Obviously, there are question mark blocks there. Uh, come on, fill it in. Oh, we got some fighting music, and I fell through the hole. Uh, I'm gonna run low on confetti at this rate. Okay, timing's gonna be kind of important here. We got some money. Into battle we go! New enemies! Well, technically new enemies. Actually, no, have we fought any variation of spikes before? I don't know if we have. Whoa. Oh. Hmm. Oh wait, no, this isn't too hard. There we go. Uh, just saying so you know, if you try and jump on them when they're holding the boulders, I don't think it's gonna hurt you, but I think they soak up the damage instead. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. Let's focus on the guys who's actually going to do major damage this round. Ah, sweet, sweet coinage. Hello! Haven't done that in a while now. Let's try and get an excellent milk this for all the money. Hello! And it didn't even break. Uh, give us some um, extra bits of money there. There's definitely a uh, area up above the island here, but I'm also kind of curious as to what's down here. Um. Oh. I see. <laughs> The question mark block. Yeah, this is where that would be found, of course. I want to look around the rest of the island before I hit that power block, because I guarantee you there's probably going to be some coinage to be made down in the, down there, but I kind of want to see if I can deal with the crabs first. Whoa! Sh there is something stuck in that. How do I get it? I got a hitting block there. Whoops. There is a toad stuck in that. Or am I crazy? What is that stuck in there? There's something in there. Whatever. Okay, so it, he has a longer cooldown period. I swear I'm not just here stupidly taking the damage. I was waiting for the cooldown to wear off, but he already throws one before it even wears off. Was there a toad in that, or am I crazy? What if I check down here where they were going? Anything? Nope, nothing. Is there even a toad on this island? There's another statue. Oh, wait, that... How many times have I fallen in the holes on this one island? Save me! A path to paradise! Oh, thank you. I wasn't sure that'd work. Here, let me show you where to find treasure in the ocean. Ooh, that's a new one. Okay, let's go check over there. We haven't even been to that quadrant of the map too much anyway. Seek ye a path to paradise. This paradise place must be super cool. These statues won't shut up about it. Yeah, they've been talking about that a lot. Oh, whoa, what is this? Doodah, dee -da? 
You've earned the Origami Toad Collector Trophy. Visit the... Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, what did I get? Why did I get that one? Um... We'll check that one out later. Why did I get that one? Like that... I don't think that's the one for rescuing every toad, which I know we haven't done yet, so... what What is that one? Whatever, apparently we've earned an achievement. Or something. <laughs> yeah, phew, thank you so much, Mario. I thought I'd be chanting there forever. This is one of the Sensor Lab satellite offices, located right here in Question Mark Island. What do you say, Mario? Want to fax travel to our main Sensor Lab location? No, I'm good. We have rescued a toad here. That being said, I think we are going to end this episode here for now. Uh, thankfully, I'm recording the next one back to back, so... Cliffhanger! What is in the b treasure chest? What's in the treasure chest? Also, the bigger cliffhanger. What happens when I hit that power block? Uh, thank you all for watching. I've been Dashbit, and next time we are going to find out all those things. Uh, I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye!